Hunter may have noticed a bit of noise late last night and into this morning. That's because multiple fighter pilots were participating in a training exercise at Shaw Air Force Base. As our Kaylin Hagwood reports, it's a historic initiative leaders are hoping will strengthen our nation's defense. Here at Shaw Air Force Base, 18 F-16 fighter pilots took off shortly after one this morning. In the sky, they'll have more airspace than usual. It's a first for the base as they seek new ways to create larger, more realistic training simulations. Lieutenant Colonel Joshua Muffet leads the initiative. We're able to negotiate to use this airspace kind of in the middle of the night, which is why we're here so late when there's not much airline traffic to enable to get us some really high-end uh, training. We're really excited about it. On the ground, maintainers work worked alongside pilots to inspect and service aircrafts before takeoff. Captain Justin McManus oversees them. We take a lot of pride in what we do in defending our nation, defending our country, and we will stop it more or less nothing to ensure that we are ready at a moment's notice. The exercise comes after the U.S. took down multiple flying objects over the past week, including one suspected Chinese spy balloon near Myrtle Beach. But Lieutenant Colonel Muffet said planning for this training has been underway for some time as they work to find new ways to combat modern threats. Irrespective of the balloons that have or haven't happened, we're laser focused on readiness uh, for whatever the, the case may be. Whatever we're tasked to do by our uh, military and civilian leaders, then we want to be ready to do that. The training exercise is expected to continue through Friday. If you live in the Sumter area, you should expect some noise. Reporting here in Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hackwood. Leaders hope the training will lead to more discussions about shared airspace in the future.